For months, the government has insisted its super-secret spy agency, CSEC, never targets Canadians. By law, CSEC is only supposed to collect intelligence in other countries, not about Canadians, and never in Canada. Well, tonight, CBC News has new information from Edward Snowden that blows that theory right out of the water. And if you traveled through a Canadian airport in the last few years, the target might have been you. Our Greg Weston has the exclusive details for us tonight. Greg. Peter, this document is marked top secret. The secret was supposed to be the spy operation it describes. Turns out the bigger secret is Canadians were the target. For two weeks, thousands of ordinary Canadian airline travelers had no idea they were being tracked by their own government. Their only mistake, using the free Wi-Fi at a major Canadian airport. They had no way of knowing their smartphones and other devices were being turned into personal tracking beacons. Beacons used by CSEC to track their every move. Even after they left the airport, for days, everywhere they went in cities across Canada and even into the United States. Hotels, cafes, libraries, restaurants, other airports. Every time their wireless devices pass through a Wi-Fi hotspot, CSEC knew. I have to tell you, I was blown away by this. I mean, it is really uh, unbelievable that CSEC would engage in that kind of surveillance of, of Canadians. The 27-page document from 2012 shows CSEC was testing powerful new computer surveillance software. We are essentially uh, carrying around with us digital dog tags as we go about our daily lives that allow anyone with access to that data extraordinarily precise information about our movements and social relationships. It's not clear how CSEC got that information on airport Wi-Fi users. Somehow it also got inside other Wi-Fi networks used to track the traveler's devices across the country. It called the result game-changing. The privacy watchdog calls it just plain wrong. They're not supposed to be tracking the activities of law-abiding citizens of Canada. CSEC's own chief agrees. CSEC, under its legislation, cannot target Canadians anywhere in the world or anyone in Canada, including visitors to Canada. That has some experts wondering what authority CSEC had to track travelers leaving a Canadian airport. In my opinion, I can't see any circumstance in which this would not be unlawful under current Canadian law, under our charter, under CSEC's three mandates. Today, CSEC told us it was only collecting so-called metadata. For instance, all the calls you make and receive, but not the content of them. It says that's legal. The two largest airports, Toronto and Vancouver, say they never authorized any such operation, nor did the largest provider of airport internet services. All the experts CBC interviewed who reviewed the document concluded that no matter how CSEC characterizes its operation, the documents describe an elaborate cyber tracking system. Here we clearly have uh, an agency of the state collecting in an indiscriminate and bulk fashion all of Canadian communications, and the oversight mechanism is flimsy uh, at best. That oversight is provided by a retired judge who reports to the defence minister and ultimately the prime minister who appointed the watchdog in the first place. This trust me model that the government is advancing and CSIC is advancing, oh, just, just trust us. We're doing the right thing. Don't worry. Yes, worry. We have very good reason to worry. Sources say the pilot project is now a fully operational surveillance program that shares information with Canada's other spying partners in the U.S., the U.K., New Zealand and Australia. CSEC still denies it tracked Canadians. Peter? That's quite the story, Greg. Thank you. Greg Weston in Ottawa.